welcome back mindfulness or the here and now is the in thing now i totally agree with the positivity and the focus attached or associated with here and now and the focus or the efficacy of mindfulness now let's look at it a little divergently if it is here and now what about there and then and what about where and when this is just a philosophical uh, dissection of the subject nothing to fight with the or oppose the philosophy of um, here and now and mindfulness now if here and now is there is existent there and then was also existent if you totally negate the existence of there and then and where and when you are denying your past and you are denying your future now i don't mean that you you should get over worried about your past or regret all your past doings and get over worried about your future and be tense but at the same same, same time there are certain emotions uh associated with the past like nostalgia like wistfulness uh maybe regrets too what's wrong in regrets and then future promises and then you get a chance to daydream so what i mean to say is the here and now and the mindfulness should not be a self deceptive ostrich policy there should be realism attached to it why do companies and organizations and individuals have reviews and visions plans for the future plans for the present and your experience from the past so all are important the entire gamut of experience is important this mental capability to go through the entire gamut of your past present and your prospective future will give you the extra strength of stoicism now stoicism has been in our heritage our culture our history it was called uh, sthita pratnya sthita pratnya in sanskrit that is moderation and also the ability to uh, bear uh, sorrows and pleasures with equanimity so let's strengthen our mind by uh, resorting to a bit of stoicism and equanimity thank you